Welcome, this is an instruction video about setting up your iSteel Mini. But the first thing you want to do when you receive your iSteel Mini in the box is open the box and get all the parts out and then use the checklist that's in the box to make sure that you've got every part of your Mini. If something is missing, just contact support at support at iSteelMill.com. So if you've taken all of the parts out of the box, place them on a flat surface so you know everything is there and then we'll start with the boiler. The boiler is the biggest part of the iSteel Mini and you want to make sure you've got it into the place where you want to use it because if you have assembled the complete iSteel Mini, it's very big and very difficult to move it. So we'll place it over here where I want to use it. Now we'll start with the column. So this is the lower part of the column. You can recognize it because there's insulation all over the column and the bottom is bigger. And we start with the little wafer that we put into here. So make sure that it falls in there. And that's to make sure that the packing that we're going to put in doesn't come out at the bottom. So the packing, you need to fill the whole column with the packing. So when it's completely filled with packing, it's time for the second part of the column. First place the ring and make sure that it fits. And then you take the second part of the column and you put it on top. And seal it with the tri-clamp. And we always like to have the closures facing the same side. So when this part is in place, we've got one column. Now we have to fill this part of the column with packing as well. So when the whole column is filled with packing, it's time for the next part, which is the collection plate with the needle valve, this part. You want to make sure you have the needle valve at the side where you're working and then you put another ring in between make sure it's fit put it on and then again use a tri clamp to make sure it fits in place Then next, you attach the product cooler to the needle valve, which can be a bit tricky. You usually want to do it with two people just to make sure that you can hold it in place. This is also the place where you put the pump system when you're using the pump system. So, another rubber ring. Put it on here like this, so the in and out for the water is facing backwards. And then make sure you've got the tri-clamp and you put it into place. And as with all iSteel models, the Mini, when we are distilling, we are cooling all the vapors that are coming out, which means the cooler goes on top. So this is the column cooler, which goes on top of the collection plates. Again, you have the ins and outs for the water facing backwards. Make sure the ring fits. And you put another tri-clamp there to make sure that it stays in place. And on top of the column, we've got the cleaning in place. So another ring and then this goes up here. You want to make sure that this is always open. You just use this when cleaning the column. Otherwise, it's a safety measure for any pressure buildup which can escape easily at the top. Also, you've got the hook here 
to lift the column off the iSteel Mini. So we're going to put the column on top of the boiler. Make sure you've got the big tri-clamp already in place and maybe you want to do this with two people because it's quite heavy. Also put the rubber ring on, make sure it sticks. And then lift the whole column on top of the boiler. and lock it with the tripod. Then on to the cooling water. Of course, it depends a little bit on the setup of your own distillery. We like to use color-coded hoses, so we know blue is for cold water and the red is for the hot water coming out. And we always start at the point in the still where the product is the coolest, which is at the bottom here of the product cooler. So you use the Gardena to connect it over there. That goes to your water supply. Then the water flows through, comes out here. So we connect the top of the product cooler to the bottom of the column cooler. So cold water goes through the product cooler into the column cooler and then comes out at the top. That's the hot water coming out. So that is your water supply out and that goes into, well, your circulation system or the sewer or depending on your setup of your distillery. So it goes onto this one, not the top one because the top one is only for cleaning. We leave that open now because we're not cleaning. So then finally the power manager to make sure we have en enough power to heat up the boiler. So at the back, that goes to your power supply. Make sure it clicks in place onto your wall socket. And then you connect the boiler with these two. And you're ready to go.